Hi and welcome to today's tutorial. Today we're going to be making this beautiful candle out of gouache. So I'm using a 300 GSM uh, watercolor color pad, uh, which is very good for gouache, and it makes it really easy. So I don't really need a masking tape, and um, since it's glued onto the book, um, the thickness is quite nice so there are some people who are not very comfortable about it so in that case you can just tear out a sheet and you can use that to create your painting so the first step is to draw out our candle and then i'm going to make an interesting background color so i'm using some white and mixing it with green so there'll be more white and less green and a very quite um, watery consistency is what i'm using for the background and uh, i personally like the effect of um, how this background is where in some areas it's a little darker and some areas it's a little lighter so if you're somebody who wants a completely opaque effect then what you're supposed to do is use less water more of the creamy colors of white and um, green mixed together to get this kind of a creamy thick consistency so in that case your background is going to be completely opaque We'll move on now to create um, the colors for the rest of the object. Um, so I'm mixing a little bit of white and some blue. So I'm using a couple of blues. I'm using cobalt blue, Prussian blue. So mix a couple of things. So I'm using in fact um, all the blues which are on my palette to create a really interesting blue color. And I'm going to add that on this particular ceramic um, candle bowl which is there. gosh pastel colors go very well with each other so it's interesting to play around with your background and foreground so if you have a very light background then play with the darker foreground and vice versa and um, you'll notice that the things that you create are able to stand out much more that way let's add a yellow for the wick so generally i personally don't like the lemon yellow too much so i like mixing the mid yellow or like I like to call it as the mango yellow to most of the areas um, which require yellow so we'll do that and now I'm going to be mixing some yellow ochre with some white to create the base part of um, this particular candle holder it's a ceramic candle holder so what I'm doing um, in real is I'm looking at this object which is in front of me right now and then I'm painting it so I drew it and then I'm painting it and that's the process that I'm following right now um, so you can just look at this process and see another object which is in front of you and try and recreate it in the same way. Because of the versatility of gouache, I really enjoy creating art with it. You get to um, explore it in a very different way. Uh, when I create watercolors, I use a lot of black ink to create the outlines and to create some detailing. But with gouache, I don't generally use black much unless it's really essential for that particular painting. Um, so like in this case over here right now, I've created the depth of um, the hollow on the top using a darker color. And likewise for the blue, I have just added a little bit of darker blue on the sides and um, a little bit of brown at the bottom. So that way it helps you to create like a harmonious effect um, and uh, pastels with black should really uh, don't go too well because black is too stark which is why i like using um, a darker version of the same color for that particular object to make it stand out a little more to add the feeling of a little illuminance what i'm going to do is mix a little bit of yellow with white add it around the candle wick and then use some water to just gradate it into the background so this creates a little bit of illusion and a little bit of light um, around the candle and this looks really nice i hope you enjoyed uh, this tutorial uh, if you're new over here do consider subscribing to my youtube channel and whenever you recreate any of my pieces you can tag me on instagram uh, the link of it is there in my description